To fend off formidable predators, the prey of said animals have to be just as formidable, either in their speeds, wit, camouflage, or just plain power. One of these animals that takes the latter option is the gar, also known as the Indian bison, bovines native to South and Southeast Asia, which are notable for being the largest species of bovid. Being the largest bovids, males can weigh up to 1,500 kilograms, with females also being large at 700 to 1,000. They can be up to 250 to 330 centimeters in length, and standing from 142 to 220 centimeters high at the shoulder. They also have a high, convex ridge on their foreheads between their horns, which protrudes anteriorly, causing a deep hollow in the profile of the upper part of their head. They also have a large back ridge running from their shoulders to the middle of their back, with the shoulders being as much as 12 centimeters higher than the rump. This ridge is caused by the great length of the spinous processes of the vertebrae and the forepart of the trunk as compared with those of the loins, and overall gives them an even more muscular and intimidating physique. Gar also possess dewlaps, which in ungulates is linked to thermoregulation, as lower surface-to-volume ratio counteracts heat dissipation in these large-bodied mammals, and further study is also being looked into a potential communicative function. The horns of gar are found in both males and females, which curve upwards, and are medium-sized by large bovid standards, growing to lengths of 60 to 115 centimetres. Adult males are a dark brown, near black in older individuals, with their hair becoming lost or thinner on their backs as they age. Cows and juveniles are paler, and in some instances have a rufous tinge, which is most evident in groups inhabiting dry and open areas. Gars live in herds of around 8 to 9 individuals, one of which is a bull, with some bulls joining the herds during the breeding season for mating, and individuals may then also live alone and form herds of only male animals or live a solitary life. Herds in general are led by a matriarch, and when the breeding season comes around, no serious fighting, despite their muscular frames, has ever been recorded, with posturing being the major factor in determining dominance also making calls that are clear and resonant that can carry for more than 1.6 kilometers. In some regions in India where human disturbance is minimal, Gar are very timid and shy, despite their great size and power, with them crashing through the jungle at surprising speeds once they feel they've been detected. However, in Southeast Asia and the more southern regions of India where they are used to human habitation, they become more bold and even aggressive, sometimes grazing alongside cattle and even killing them over food disputes. They reach sexual maturity in their second to third year, with breeding taking place year-round, but peaks between December and June. Females have one calf at a time, typically after a gestation period of about 275 days, with them being weaned after 7 to 12 months. Their lifespan in captivity is up to 30 years, although their lifespan in the wild is still being determined. They are also largely confined to evergreen forest, but also occur in deciduous forest areas around the periphery of their range. They prefer hilly terrain below an altitude of 1,800 metres, with this preference being partly due to the earlier conversion of most of the plains and other low-lying areas to croplands and pastures, and are likely their optimal habitats otherwise. Due to their imposing stature, they have few predators once they are fully grown, although throughout their life, aside from humans, they face attacks from leopards, doll packs, and large mugger crocodiles, which are capable of attacking unguarded calves or unhealthy animals. Only tigers and saltwater crocodiles have been reported to kill adult gar from available sightings. However, the habitat and distribution of gar and saltwater crocodiles seldom overlap in recent times, due to the decreasing range of both species. Tigers are most definitely then the most potent of these predators, being able to take down juvenile and weak animals, as well as healthy bulls weighing in excess of a tonne. Due to gars being such large animals, however, tigers have to use their wits instead of attacking head-on, and so employ a tactic of launching a lateral sneak attack. Through this, they keep out of the way of the dangerous horns and hooves, while getting right to the neck, and then reversing backwards as to not get hit by the hooves of the gar, effectively grounding them. Steadily, the gar is then choked to death. Gar are however not completely helpless, as since gar weigh in excess of 2-3 to three times their weight, can lethally impale a tiger with their horns, and can shatter their skull with their hooves, with there being cases of tigers being found killed with characteristic wounds from these bovines. When confronted as a herd, the adult members of the herd often form a circle surrounding the vulnerable calves, shielding them from an attack. As tigers rely on ambush attacks therefore, they will almost certainly abandon a hunt if detected, and especially if met in a confrontational manner, especially against Gar. 
Today, guards have a fragmented range due to habitat loss, as well as poaching, and are currently listed as vulnerable. The global population is estimated to be around 21,000 individuals as of 2016, with long-term survival depending on the availability of preferred plant species for food, as well as suitable habitats. All in all, I thank you for watching this video on these animals and that you may have learned something new. If you would like to see more from this channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.